Tales is a Debian-based Linux distro released on 2009. It is a privacy-focused, live OS. It runs from memory and does not write anything on your hard drive, hence when you shut it down all the time jit and mundane things will be lost forever. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Tails on your flash drive. If you already know what Tails is and all you are interested in seeing is the installation process, then jump to the timestamp. What is Tails? Tails is a portable operating system that protects against surveillance and censorship. Visit the tails.net page so that you can see this information, their documentation. Okay. It avoids surveillance and viruses. You secure your computer everywhere you go because when you shut it down, everything disappears. Even if you're using the Windows or Mac OS or Linux, everything di disappears. It has a digital security toolbox and free softwares. Tails is used by activists to hide their identities, journalists who are publishing sensitive data from unsafe place. You can use Tail to escape severe surveillance at home. And whenever you need extra privacy in this world, you just use Tail because it's the best. Tails is recommended by Edward, a former NSA whistleblower. It's also recommended by Roger, co-founder of TA, and it's also recommended by Electronic Frontler Foundation. How does Tails work? One, leaves no trace on your computer. You secure your computer anywhere. Secondly, it has amnesia. Tails always start from the same clean state and everything you do disappear automatically. Like websites you visited, files that you opened, password that you, you have saved in your password manager and all the devices and Wi-Fi you have used or connected to your machine. Next, it allows persistent storage. You can save some of your files and configure in an encrypted persistent storage on the USB stick for later use. In Tails, everything you do disappear when you shut it down, but you can save some of these files in an encrypted persistent storage on your Tail USB stick. Some of these files include your documents, your Wi-Fi password, your browser book. Tails also have a digital security toolbox, which include a section of application to work on a sensitive document and communicate securely. This uh, application include the tab browser, the Thunderbird, Thunderbird for encrypted emails, a live office, onion share, metadata cleaner, and many more. You can use this security toolbox for more things that you want. Tail uses Star, and we all know that Star does not leave any trace on the internet because it uses relays. Relays are servers operated by different people and organizations around the world. So Star encrypts and anonymizes your connection by passing it through three relays, very different relays. It also avoids online surveillance and censorship, tracking and change identity. This avoids websites that you are visiting from learning where you are. You can visit the tails.net website to go through this documentation for the, all those things that I haven't talked about. All that and said, let's install our tail. We are installing tails from tails website. As you can see, there is an installation for Windows, the Mac OS, Linux, and Terminal. These are Ubuntu or anything, any terminal that you love to use. For us, many users use Windows, so we are going to use Windows. So I will click on Windows. To install Tails on Windows, you will need our USB stick, which is one, at least 8 GB minimum, a Windows 7 or latest version, okay, a 2 GB RAM, and uh, a smartphone, of which we are not going to use it uh, that much in this uh, illustration, and also time. You need a uh, almost one hour of your time so let's go on with the steps on how to install tails step one download the image step two is that we are going to verify our download to make sure that it was not corrupted during the time of download we will click here to select our download that we have downloaded and open it and it will start to scan it to verify that it was not corrupted during the time of downloading wait until it is done step four download balincha we are going to download balincha so you click on download for windows after it has downloaded you open it after opening it you'll see such a window now select flash from file then go and select the file that we downloaded the tail file select it and open it after you have opened it select target the usb drive that you have inserted in your machine so i will go up here and select and tick it and select it after selecting it I'll uh, click on select one, then flash. 
is going to take a while for it to flash and validate the files that you have just downloaded so go and grab your cup of coffee and subscribe to this channel turn on post notification and share and like this it is done so you can close this window and uh, we are going to restart our computer rebooting booting from our stick our usb stick you can see we have been given here some instruction on how to do that but for me i will just go and restart machine my machine normally click on restart press f2 to open the boot menu so that you can select and make some changes after it has opened the boot menu i'll go ahead and click on uh, secure boot so yeah you'll you'll disable secure boot after that mine is uh, already disabled so I will, I will not need to change that or uh, let me check secure boot it is disabled after that you go here at uh, boot sequence under general set our windows may look different so you'll just search for this select usb and make it the first in your list then click apply and then click exit it will boot direct to tails and uh, here you will select the language that you use and the keyboard that you want to use then you can see it will ask you if you want to create a persistent storage for me for this tutorial i'm going to allow that so i'll allow this persistent storage and start trial and click on start trial when tails boots up it asks you about your tar connection so for me i'm going to select the first option connect tar automatically and click connect to tar it might take a while for it to connect to tar according to your internet speed after it has completed you can click on start browser we can verify that our search engine is dark dark go which is a very secure and safe search engine to use for your work and for your privacy next we are going to set our persistent storage remember persistent storage helps us to encrypt our files on our tails usb stick these files are files that we don't want to lose them such as your document your wi-fi password your browser bookmark so i'm going to click continue to set the password and here you'll set a strong password and click on create persistent storage there are many options here that you can enable or disable you can see even tab bridge you can enable that or disable that so that it can be saved on your persistent storage for me i will not really need that i will just disable it and uh, i will go ahead and close this window or just disable tab bridge and uh, close this window i don't want anything that has such to be saved there you have it tails running and booted from your usb stick as you can see it has various applications that you can use even for running your files everything your tab browser is set everything is there and you can also check uh, that it, uh, it also have a terminal i will open the terminal as you can see up here we have it has the terminal you can run various commands that you know everything you can do with tail and remain anonymous remember it's all about being anonymous now all that said and done we can shut down our tails and remove our usb stick so that we can boot to a normal windows so after you have removed it you can see we have booted back to windows thanks for watching this video i wanna wish you all the best don't forget to subscribe like and share